Hey everyone, and thanks for checking out this next installment of Baron Bootcamp, where today we're going to be looking at irregular time signatures with a particular focus on 7 8 time, where we've got seven beats. Now you might be asking me, whoa, 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 why are we playing music with seven beats? We don't see this really in traditional Irish music. And you're right, we do see it sometimes in more contemporary Irish tunes, but actually we barely or never really see it in traditional Irish music. So why are we looking at it today for this Bowron Bootcamp? Well, there are two main reasons. Firstly, playing seven is really fun. It's such a groovy time frame. We see it a lot in Balkan music, Middle Eastern music, Persian music, indeed South Asian music an awful lot too. So it's a great way for us to bring our baron chops into other musical traditions, expand our musical knowledge and kind of get to know different styles of music. The second main reason is because by playing within these irregular time signatures, it's actually a lot more difficult. It's more challenging for us as percussionists, as baron players. So by working through irregular time signatures, like today with our 7-8 patterns, also maybe like 10-8, 11-8, 15-16, and so on, you know, quite uh, irregular, complicated time signatures for us to maneuver. When we do go back to those more familiar time signatures, like 4-4, four, four, real pattern, or jig, 6-8 time, we have a much better understanding of how the rhythms are built, our sense of timing improves. Overall, it's just really good for musicianship to get stuck in with these irregular time signatures. So today, as I said, it's all about that seven, eight time. So I think we ought to grab our barons and get going with the session. So when we approach 7-8 time, it's really good to think about it in three chunks to start with. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which can get a little bit uh, monotonous, we can break it up. We can break it up into 2, 2, and 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. With a total figure of that being 7, yeah? I managed to use some mental arithmetic there. <laughs> so one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Now a little exercise that I do in my workshops is when we're working with seven, eight for the first time, it's really good to get that uh, pattern into the body, get that uh, rhythm into the body first. So you can start on the one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So by actually just getting it into the body and giving it a sort of a bit of shape, it can really help us before we dive into it with the bear on, yeah? So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. You'll probably notice as well on the one, two, one, two, one, two, three, that we have a little bit more sound, don't we, on that kind of one, yeah, sort of giving the legs a good old whack, uh, feels a little bit stronger. And that's because they're kind of the anchors within the bar of seven. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. That's sort of the anchor within the rhythm, yeah, that we can hook onto to give us a sense of groove, to make it really dance, bring it to life. As opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which would feel a little bit sort of monotonous, I think, and not so groovy. Yeah, so getting the bear on going now. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. For the one, two, one, two, we're gonna start with down, up, down, up. One, two, one, two. And then for the one, two, three, we're gonna do down, up, flat. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Down, up, down, up, down, up, flat, down, up, down, up, down, up, flat. So this is our first kind of assembly of the seven beats into one, two, one, two, and one, two, three. A lot of my students like to add words instead of getting one, two, one, two, one, two, three to give them words. So we can use coffee, coffee, gallop. Ping, coffee, coffee, galloping. So we've just taken two syllables, two syllables, coffee, coffee, and then three syllables, galloping, yeah? So coffee, coffee, galloping, coffee, coffee, galloping, coffee, coffee, galloping. 
Bing, coffee, coffee, galloping. Once you've got that nice and comfortable, we can bring in a little bit of tonal hand. Maybe open bass. So again, really good idea to start practicing these slowly, particularly if it's your first time approaching 7-8. Welcome, you're gonna love it. <laughs> it takes a little time to get used to it at the beginning, but a couple of practice sessions and you'll be jamming along to 7-8. Super, super easy. So that was our first kind of assembly of seven. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. And we can invert that and we can make it one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Instead of one, two, one, two, one, two, three. We can turn it around and go one, two, three, one, two, one, two. This is also a really common arrangement with the seven beats, yeah? So again, for the one, two, three, we're just gonna do our down, up, flat stroke. One, two, one, two. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Now again, if you're thinking, whoa, this is really my brain is boggling with this get it going in the body first yeah there's absolutely no shame in just getting the movement getting the pattern really feeling it as well sometimes it's really helpful to actually feel that kind of like you know strong beat on the ones yeah that helps us that when we pass it on to the baron we pick up the baron put it into our strokes yeah so one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. It's another little helpful exercise, yeah? So, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, open, pop, pop, open, pop, pop, open, pop, pop. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. So that was our second assembly of seven. Now for the third little seven pattern that I want to share with you today. It's a combination of the first exercise that we did and the second. So it's a two bar pattern. Still with seven beats. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, followed by one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So all together, 14 beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> of course, we can break it up into the twos and threes. It's so much easier to subdivide. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So again, we can get this going in the body first. It's a really helpful little tool. Yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Really good to just get things moving, get that rhythm really going strong in our heads first. And then when we add it to the strokes, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, same sticking as the first exercise, down, up, down, up, down, up, flat. For the one, two, three, one, two, one, two, same sticking as the second exercise. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Down, up, flat, down, up, down, up. Yeah, so all together. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. That is our third little pattern in seven for this boot camp. In the case that you're interested in taking these patterns forward, I've created a series of practice tracks that you can find out more about on my website. I'll link it down below. But there are three groups. The first one is called Dash de Kavir. Second is called the Grand Bazaar, and that's in the one, two, three, one, two, one, two arrangement. The 
third one is called Mamala Puram, which is in that combination exercise. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So you can find out more about that if you'd like to on my website, but you can absolutely practice these patterns to any musical examples and indeed with the metronome as well. You don't need those backing tracks in order to develop your chops within the 7-8 time signature. So hopefully you find that helpful, maybe a bit interesting, gives you a little bit of a challenge and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you all get on and seeing you all in the next video. So take care everybody and over and out.